We're doing our best at Turning Point to speak out against this, to call it what it is. This has to be a female-led movement, though. This is, and by the way, it will only be successful if it is a female-led movement. And so what exactly does that look like? You have to be disagreeable on this topic. You ha and you might say, oh, well, you know, Charlie, it it's tough and they call me names. Yes, they will. And so what? They will call you names. You are on. You are in the arena. They're trying to frame this as a civil rights issue. They're like, oh, well, this is the same thing as Martin Luther King. What an insult to Martin Luther King and the civil rights movement. What an insult to the woman's suffrage movement. No, no, this is the same old game that is repurposing itself and is replaying itself, which is there are three types of people in the world. There are infants, there are predators, and the protectors of infants. Predators will always be there, but it is the people that are supposed to protect infants from these ideas, from these social contagions. And right now, we are living under this fake religion of tolerance, and we are allowing them to steamroll our customs where now the Texas flag is equal to the gay flag. Where in San Francisco, they are raising up the American flag and the gay flag up simultaneously. But we were told you have to tolerate it, but it was never about tolerance, was it? No, because then it's about acceptance. We're like, well, that's weird. And then it's about celebration, mandatory celebration. And then it's about participation. And if you're not going to participate, they're going to make your kids participate. You see, what you have here right now in this room, the combined power on your campuses, on your social media, this right here could move the fight so considerably in a generationally impactful way. This room can make the difference. If each and every single one of you went to social media and back in your communities, in your conversations, one truth teller can speak for the other people that are afraid that says, you know what? Get out of my locker room, creep. Get out of my locker room. I'm not going to put up with this.